If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather, you should hit the like and subscribe down below. And if filling plates and platters while maintaining flavor matters, then there's a stellar cook that you should know. It's rain, the planet with a pilot. They'll keep you fed and coming back for more. So come on, take up space. Rain will make a tasty plate. And tell the diet Karen's where to go. It's the planet where the pilot cook can show. Did you see our pineapple? Come look, look how big it is. Water those plants over there. The uh, whoa, well, not over here. You see the hibiscus in the ground. Turn it off. Well, we'll turn it off once we've watered everything. Can you water these guys over here? That's our lemon tree and our lime. Check this out. We're, we're growing a pineapple. Your pineapple. These are both pineapple plants. It's getting big, right? If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather, you should hit the like and subscribe down below. And if filling plates and platters while retaining flavor matters, then there is a cellar cook that you should know. It's Arthur, the, the planet <laughs> with a palette. He'll keep you fed and coming back for more. So come on, take up space. Rain will make a tasty plate. And tell the dinosaurs where to go. <laughs> it's the planet with a pallet cooking show. Yeah. On today's episode of Planet with a Pallet, we have a super secret menu. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Arthur chose this menu. And he says that the viewers can't know until we're ready to eat. But I'm going to give you a hint. We are using the air fryer, as well as the stovetop, as well as the microwave to make the components of this meal. So your original idea for a menu was? Spinach, carrots, mashed potatoes, and bacon. Are we using any of the components in the new idea? We're using two of them. Okay, and what is your new idea based on? Uh, tell me, it's all based on my birthday party. Yeah, what did we do at your birthday party? Uh, eat. Well, we did eat, <laughs> but did we time travel perhaps? Yes. Did you have a time theme birthday? Yes. Welcome to Arthur's time machine. Hold on to your butt. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Whoa. Um, so I, I wanted to come show you. This um, is a cool room. Yeah, I know it doesn't work anymore just because there's, 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 it's gone. Well, we already did the party, right? Yeah. Um, but we had a fun time, didn't we? Yes. We have some water boiling for our super secret menu. Okay, can you start the microwave for five minutes, please? Can we do that on camera? We are doing it on camera. <laughs> Good job. My dude with the cooking skills. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's me. My name is, uh, is it okay if the people know my name? It's okay if the people know your name. Why? Because you're allowed to tell your name, just not your whole name. Arthur. Yeah. Come have a seat. All right, we're gonna sing a song that goes, 
and I want you to sing it with me, okay? Okay. It's the Jurassic Park thing song, and we're gonna go. Da 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 I'm not gonna like the food now. Huh? You will. Bring your plate on over. I'm gonna eat right off of here. But if you want some mashed potatoes, I still have some that don't have gravy on them. Have a seat. You want some mashed potatoes with no gravy? Yes. All right, here you go, buddy. Give me your plate. This is a funny meal, huh? Here you go. I will get you just a little bit more. With no gravy. There you go. You gonna eat at the other couch? No. Mmm. Excellent work heating up the mashed potatoes. I've seen people do a little volcano with bacon and I thought it'd be fun. How do you merge things you recorded into one video? You edit it. Do you want to at least try the gravy? No. <laughs> I hate it so much I don't even want to try. Okay. Mm. I've been wanting to do this volcano ever since I saw it on TikTok. Mmm. This gravy boat always reminds me of my first episode where I didn't realize that my spouse had brought me all the gravy in the gravy boat that I had made. I thought they just brought me some of it and I poured the whole thing on my plate without realizing that I used all the gravy myself. Oops, there's still a little bit left but. Whoopsie. I love the addition of bacon. It just makes it easier for the gravy to go down. Also, it's fun to dip. And we get to make this little volcano fumes out the top. Also, we didn't have enough mashed potatoes, so we used mac and cheese. I think it worked out perfectly. Does the way we they speak in English now differ from a thousand years ago in terms of vocabulary or grammar? Both, right? Yeah. You like thinking about old timey language, don't you? Yeah. Do you want to show everybody the cool presents you got for your birthday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent meal choice, Arthur. Good job. Obviously, we need a broccoli. Are you eating your broccoli? Good for you. Mm. Ah. 
I already knew that you would hate the gravy so much that I got you a separate plate of stuff before I even poured it. And you also don't like the mac and cheese, right? Right. I know. Right here is some broccoli. Mm-hmm. Do you know where your um, birthday card I wrote you is? Is it in one of these books? Do you remember how surprised you were? Hand me the card, I'll read it to everybody. Oh, and I also put some three pieces of paper that were, that unlike Hick the, uh, uh, the card was- Were written in modern language, right? Yeah, but of course, neither, uh, neither the pieces of paper nor the card was actually by the real William Shakespeare. Well, the books weren't by the real, real William Shakespeare either. But how do I eat this broccoli? Here, I'll help you. Come here. Hand me the book with the card in it, and I will help you with this broccoli. Let's see if the... Um, I, I... Oh, I, I... That is the one with the card, I think. Yep, here. Okay. So, if you... Since you don't like to take big bites, you can... You see these little sprigs? You can yeah. actually break them off, and then you eat it easier. Here. Uh, so, for your birthday, I got you these books, right? Right. William Shakespeare, Star Wars. Ooh, because you love Shakespeare, right? Yeah. And we were doing time traveling, so it works out perfectly because it's like, what? Old timey thing with a new thing like Star Wars. And I wrote you this card. And do you remember you did not want to open the yes. card? And of course, Star Wars didn't exist when William Shakespeare was alive. That's true. It says Sir Arthur, right, on the card. And I was like, uh, open your card. And you were like, do I always have to do something I don't want to do before something I do want to do? Because you just wanted to open the present. But what you weren't expecting, oh, you want to come sit over here? <laughs> Hang on, let me scoot over. But what you weren't expecting was this. <laughs> <laughs> And you were like, I was not expecting that. And it says, can I read it? Arthur, thou seemest ever young, despite how old thou art on this remembrance of thy birth. Merry sir, my dancing soul doth celebrate this most joyous day. One man in his time plays many parts. Anon is thy timeth to beest a teenager. In the next chapter with a apostrophe R, right? Of the most wonderful, wondrous play, yond is thy life. I loveth thee, mine own birthday knave. Then there's, then if we look, look Love you for all time, Zaza. Um, there's, there's also a, a, a piece of paper right here. If you yes, look. cause you got very excited and you wanted to put pieces of paper in here, right? What did you write on this one? Oh, uh, it's so cool. See, it's. Yep, that is new modern language, right? Yes. Otherwise, it would be tis so wondrous. Or, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Not. It's so cool. Did you write that because you find these books very cool? <laughs> yeah. You got five of them, right? All filled with Shakespearean language. Very cool. Yeah, I also put the card and the piece of paper in the book. Yes, you did. Very cool. You can go finish your food. <laughs> Cutie. Do you know how I came up with all that Shakespearean language? And me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, first, I looked up quotes that Shakespeare had made about birthdays. So some of the quotes in there are things Shakespeare actually said. But Shakespeare never actually said. Mine own birthday, Maeve? No. Because uh, this was clearly to Arthur and I. You are Arthur. I didn't well, exist. No, but what if you were Shakespeare in a past life? 
the yeah the piece of paper that was in in the book also wasn't written by William Shakespeare. It was not because it was written in modern language by you, my own birthday knave. It, it, uh, explain why it's so cool is modern. Well, if it was not modern, it would be tis so wondrous. What does wondrous mean? Kind of like cool, exciting, fantastic, amazing. It's kind of like that, but just older. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a very good menu you picked, Arthur. I'm not gonna lie though, I really like this mac and cheese. Do you wanna try it? Yeah, the card and the piece of paper. One is modern and the other is old. Old timey, timey. yep. But of course, neither of these were written by the real... Shakespeare? No. Rawr! 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 Dinosaur fight! <laughs> ah! Dinosaurs get eaten! Dunk! Ready? Yes. Dunk! Well, you don't have to dunk it. I know you don't want to dunk it. <laughs> you can dunk it in mashed potatoes. <laughs> there you go. Eat it. Mm -mm. I don't like the mac and cheese! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Mac and cheese! How horrible. Da, 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 dun, dun. Have you ever watched Jurassic Park? I don't think you have. Do you want to watch a movie about dinosaurs? It's scary. You want to watch a scary dinosaur movie with me? Yes. Sounds pretty cool. I know what we're doing after this. Hi, bye. Good menu. Planeteer of the week is Doreen B. Doreen B. 316. B3. 16. 16. Is that B316? It is. And do you know what Doreen said and why she's the Planeteer of the week? What did she say? She said, Happy birthday, teenage Arthur. Happy birthday. Who's a teenager? Me. It's you. Doreen B, three or 16. Yeah, what do you want to say to her? Happy Planeteer of the Week. Happy Planeteer <laughs> of the Week. <laughs> That's. Should these people make this menu? Should they make dinosaurs? Yes. With a volcano and trees? Yes. Or, um, or, um. And bacon. Bacon. Yeah. It's, it's the planet, planet with a palette dino, dino show. If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather. You should hit the like and subscribe down below. It's the planet with a palette cooking show.